So what is a user task in Flows for Apex? A user task is typically used if you want to have somebody to enter information on your own Apex form page and submit that data. In our expense claims demo app, let's have a look at the review expense step. This is a user task. And if you click on Apex tab, you can actually hook your Apex page up with this step by specifying an application, by specifying the page, and also by specifying certain Apex items. So in this case, by clicking on generate user task items, it is pre-filled with the process ID, subflow ID, and the step key. Yeah? This is your context for flows for Apex you're passing along to Apex itself. And that's used later on by process plugin to actually move one step forward. In addition to that, I've also created a page item uh, containing the primary key. So if you look at SQL Developer, there is actually one view called flow task inbox underscore VW. And in this view, you can see the, the link. So what we did before in the properties panel is now being showed here in this view. So to use that in your own Apex application, you could create an interactive report and then use that link to link to your form page. And that's what we exactly did in our expense claims demo app. So if you look at page four, VV, VW, we have here the URL defined. And if you click on your page four within the Apex application, then you can see this list here. And this URL is actually that column, link underscore text. So by clicking on that, the manager can now say, I'm going to approve this expense claim or I'm going to decline it. And if you have a look at the background of page five in page designer, you have a typical form here, uh, but on the processing side, you have one special thing we added here, which is not part of the assistant. And that's complete step of flow instance. So once he approves an expense claims, this is being called. And here's what we actually use the process ID, subflow ID and the step key for. So to pass the context along back from your Apex application to Flows for Apex. For this, we're going to use the process plugin, which is called Manage Flow Instance Step. And if you don't have those plugins installed yet, just export them from the Flows for Apex app and then import those plugins in your own app.